guys, Robert Lund here with Realty One Group Skyline and today I am in Clearwater Beach doing a little tour. I had to come up here, um, get my dog fixed today. Um, he's getting a little aggressive. I didn't really want to get him fixed but uh, it just makes me nervous around my teenage son and stuff like that. So Spike is getting clipped today and um, yeah, so it's a little emotional for me. I'm a little nervous for him, but um, you know, nervous to see what he turns out like if he turns out, you know, calm and cool and collective, hopefully, and just relaxes and he can, you know, be more sociable around other dogs, not so aggressive. Um, you know, he tends to get like that around like teenage boys who are going through puberty and stuff like that. So um, today I'm going to do a Clearwater Beach tour, guys. So I'm going to check out the area. I've got some couple hours to kill. So uh, we'll go through the area and I'll show you what Clearwater Beach is looking like. I used to come here back in the day when I went to University of Tampa uh, with my friends. Uh, we used to come here every weekend. So uh, I have old school memories of this place and I've been up here a few times. It's, it's really built up we got now, guys. So I mean, it looks like a completely different place. Looks like, uh, you know, almost like a South Beach type thing. So uh, very modern now. So let's check it out. That is the Opal Sands. I have stayed there before. One of the nicest beaches on, uh, nicest uh, hotels on the beach. The Opal Sands. Extremely nice. They're building another hotel or maybe then I think they're building an addition to the Opal Sands right there they're building another wing building all kinds of hotels and stuff here guys another hotel here you got the boardwalk this is like the walking trail right here on the beach call like the strip you know and then you can get beach access right there We'll go check that out shortly. I'm gonna stop at a store and grab some sunblock. Um, a hiatus, looks like a cool hotel. All these places are pretty nice, I would say, you know. Super nice hotels. I can find a parking spot somewhere in here. Park right here. I don't know. Yes, right here. Parking, park, and pay at pay station. All right. Well, I'm gonna park here. Got some beach access right there. Got a little beach shop. Probably get some sunblock in there. Or over here, something surf style right there. Let's check it out. 
right guys it's kind of like you got your some of the restaurants you can come hang out and you know go hopping around you get crabs beach craft beach view i'm gonna go get some sunblock right now Nice uh, big boardwalk here. Cost me about $10 to park for on the side street right there for uh, about three hours. Not bad, it's like $3.50 an hour. So yeah guys, this is the area. Grab some sunblock and surf style. Everything you need here. So yeah guys, those of you who are not familiar with my channel, uh, check it out. I do a lot of new construction tours in the Parish, Florida area. I do a lot of listings all over the state of Florida. I don't care if it's distressed, if it's on the water, multifamily, vacant land, whatever you got guys, I can sell it pretty quickly. I, I'm a very professional listing agent and I'm very good at new construction. So when it comes to, you know, Parish, Florida, the, the number one growing city in Florida right now, where there's over 25,000 homes planned for the area, and all is it like eight four lane roads coming in over the next 20 years? It's like one big construction site, guys. And there's about 15 communities selling new construction homes there now. And I specialize in knowing it's a great place for investment, great place to live, great place to build equity in any market, guys. It's forced appreciation there. And I specialize in knowing all the builders, all the incentives, all the inventory changes, and really just, just trying to figure out what's doing what, right? So it's, it's hard because it changes every day. It changes, you know, they have $20,000 incentives today, then they raise the prices and raise the incentives tomorrow and then this builder is given an interest rate special now this builder is not and it changes like at literally every day sometimes every week and then they've got these four lots available and then those four lots sold then they're releasing these four lots and they, they're not on the mls so um, these are things that i keep track of i keep it on my channel uh, filming that stuff and bringing it to you at all times guys and I'd like to give you tours of the area and all the nice places in the Tampa Bay area um, to expect when you are living in the area guys or if you're you know, if you attract new new uh, business and also provide a service and give you guys some insight on the area so let's check out the rest of Clearwater Check out the, the ocean. It's that Asian American fusion ocean high. Mm. That's 
sounds good. I think I'm gonna head to Columbia on the way back. I saw a coming in over the bridge from Indian Rocks Beach, where I came from. I saw Columbia, and that's my favorite restaurant in all of Tampa Bay. 1905 salad. Lifeguard station. If you guys are familiar with my other tours, check out the Anna Maria Island tour. I just did the um, Lakewood Ranch Farmer's Market Waterside tour. Got two contracts this week. It's been a good week. It's only Wednesday. That's what I thought you were doing. Try to give you guys that. No real time experience, so you don't even have to leave your house, you can just travel on my channel. I got uh, what else videos I got on there? I got Alaska on there, I've got Rhode Island, I've got the Hoover Dam, Grand Canyon. Get a mix of travel, education, and real estate. You know, real estate education. Little uh, kids area, guys. Got some rides. Here, Here, guys, 
hooked on the pier. Yeah, it looks like I gotta pay a fee to get in the rest of the pier. You can do that. All right, got through the gate. This is where you can fish. This is where like the deeper water is. It's kind of like the fishing area. It's got all your cutting boards and wash stations. Got running water everywhere. So it's pretty much all set up. It's the fishing pier. Only a dollar to get in. The uh, Water's looking clear today, guys. That's what they call it, clear water. Very nice. There's a dolphin at the end. There's a dolphin at the end, nice. All right, let's go see the dolphin. Dolphin hunting. See that? The uh, like a pirate ship. Just be.
hands up. She's gonna try to get this bait. Get some good uh, panoramic shots. Beach front right there. Do a zoom. We'll zoom in. Lurking, trying to steal the bait. Get a good grip on my phone. I don't want to lose it in the water. I think it's going to be over here. Probably gonna be right around where we saw him last time. But I'm not gonna stay too long and oh look at this guy. He's perched up. That's a good shot. see the dolphin again I caught a phone call but I'm gonna go walk around the strip and let's go see what's going on let's get out of here hook pier 60 Hilton right there, right next to the pier. Where 
gonna go this way because I know there's some good little uh there's good little restaurants down on the street here where Hooters is. Uh, I'm not talking about Hooters, it's a good little restaurant, but it's not bad. Um I just don't eat all that fried gluten stuff, but um I do love Hooters. So here's the rotary coming in from you know downtown Clearwater. You would kind of end up. And there's like a public parking lot over there. And you'd have the south end and then the north end strip. Which we're walking into now. There's Walgreens over there. Lots of little like bodega restaurant shops over here on the other side of the street. It's a pretty uh, authentic and been here quite some time. We got this one right here. Craft Brewery up there too. Craft Brewery. Surfside, Tap House. That chocolate place. Dunkin' Donuts. I have to go grab a coffee. What do we got here? The Shanty Cafe. Got an Italian place. Got Ben and Jerry's. Never know what you're gonna see on the beach, guys. We got some uh, guys who did too many drugs, and they, um, you know, burnt their brain a little bit. Cantina. It's like a good Mexican place. Yeah, guys. Down here, there's some other spots. Check it out. Famous beachcomber right here. Little beach access down there. Bolinis. Jimmy Hula's for sale. Let me know if you're interested. Four one eight seven nine four seven three zero. I used to know someone who worked at this ice cream shop back in the day. This place has been here for like forty years. Salty crab. Rico's pizza. So yeah guys, if you're looking for real estate in Clearwater, Florida, I can set you up on a search. Tell me what you're looking for. Uh, if you're looking for a condo, you're looking for a luxury home, an investment property, you want to do an Airbnb here, um, I, can, I can hook you up with all those guys and I can run the numbers. I've got some Airbnb managers, property managers who will manage your Airbnb for you for 20%. And uh, actually one of my tenants is a uh, Airbnb manager. He's a super host. So yeah, guys, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, if, you don't, if you're interested in that. And also guys, um, if you need anything as far as listing a home in Clearwater, I can take care of that all day for you, uh, no problem. And if you have any investment deals, guys, I've got buyers, I've got cash buyers, and I'll buy them too sometimes. If the numbers are right, I'll buy the properties. So if you got some as-is, you know, distressed properties, a lot, something like that, 
clear water, something that's, you know, good location, then uh, let me know, guys. So let's continue on on the beach right now. So go check out the uh, shoreline. Look how white the sand is, guys. Like super cool. It's like not warm at all. It's cool on the feet. Lifeguard posts all down the beach. Keeping the shoreline safe. You know, and then there's uh, some law enforcement that drives through on four wheelers patrolling as well. Got a huge whiff of marijuana. Let's go feel the water temperature. Learn to just ignore people that are watching the film. Like, who's this guy? Well, it's definitely still a little cool, a little cool. I guess it's so, guys, why they call it clear water. It's so clear. Refreshing, you know, that's for sure.
found what appears to be an old, old shark's tooth. Pretty big one. Let's see like that, uh, like serrated edge, like, it has like that, uh, it's like little decay pockets, you know? Super old one. Another big one too. Tell me what you think in the comments if you think that's a legit shark's tooth. I don't know what else it would be. Start heading back to the car now. Got these cool little shower stations everywhere with these animals. Dolphins and turtles, crabs. It's like a little, it's like some sort of a device here. A sundial. There's a sundial right there. So you can tell what time it is by where the shadow is. It's pretty cool. So what does it say? <laughs> I'd say that's off. What time is it? 11? Yeah, it's like a, you know, closer to 12.30 right now. So maybe a daylight savings time, it's accurate. All right, guys, I did want to show you Shepherd's Resort, Beach Resort where they used to have all the big beach parties back in the day. I remember you could get in for like something stupid. It was like 10 bucks to get in and then 10 bucks like all you could drink or something like that or like dollar drafts. We used to have it every weekend. We used to come here and uh, get a little wild. So It out. All right, guys, so you come in here, it's Tiki Beach. This is where the big parties are. Tiki bars, salt tequila bar, jet ski rentals, weddings, the rentals here. Got a little stage. The concerts they have and DJs that come out here. jet skis you're right on like the uh the inlet here right by the bridge i think it's the new shepherds because it used to be another one um like directly on the beach i think could be wrong but uh shepherds tiki beach Nice guys. Copyright strike for this background music.
right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that clear water tour today. Um, you know, I didn't go into all the restaurants or anything like I did on the Anna Maria tour. I apologize for that. Did not have time. But um, I just wanted to add a couple hours to walk around and just show you the area. So I hope you appreciate that, guys. And um, like I said, if you need anything in real estate, please give me a call, 941-879-4730. Check out my channel, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Look at my other, you know, uh, travel tours, my educational stuff for real estate, uh, any community tours in the Manatee County area that I've been doing. And um, yeah, guys, I hope I can be of service to you. Um, so have a great day and check out robertlunt.com. And uh, pulling up to the Columbia, my favorite spot. So, take care, guys. Thank you.